Hi everyone! Since I posted a video about coloring page from Enchanted Fairies coloring book, I decided also to create a video about artist and about original paintings, which were behind the coloring book. So, Josephine Wall is quite famous English artist, and she mostly create some fantasy and fairy tale paintings. Her preferable technique is oil paintings, and I can say that all her works are so amazingly detailed that I simply can't imagine how long it takes to finish just one painting, and she's also very productive. If you go to her website, you can see huge amount of beautiful paintings. I will leave you link to her official website down in the info box and I highly recommend to go there and to look at her series of goddesses, of fairies and of zodiac signs. Even if you don't own coloring book by Josephine Wall, I would say that her art can inspire us and can teach us a lot of things. First of all, look at her skin tones. They are quite interesting and she is not afraid to use unusual colors. We can see golden shining from the skin, we can see some orange, peach, uh, lilac, lavender, but also some bluish skin tones. So it's very interesting if you want to uh, create something unusual to color some fairy tales. And I think that it will be very interesting to try and to copy. Usually I hate to copy original paintings if coloring book is based on them. Like I don't like to copy paintings by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. But I think that while I, I will be coloring in Josephine Wall book, I will be trying to copy her paintings. Because she used so many color accents even for smallest objects. Usually, you know, when you color something, you select maybe lighter and darker shade of one color and we use it throughout the whole object we color. But if you look at Josephine paintings, I think that it's at least two colors even for smallest details, especially uh, wings, hair, dresses of fairy tales, of fairies. So, very interesting to look and to learn. Next thing is colors which she select for her fantasy skies, for the water and also how she show lightning in her paintings. For example, look at this painting and how she managed to show light reflections from candle on the face, on the arms, on the folds of the dress, on the rows, it's very instructive. I also noticed for myself how many colors look nice together with gold, like pink plus gold, uh, peach or lilac or lavender or strong violet and blue colors. They all look really good together with rich yellow and golden colors. And the last thing which I also noticed for myself for my future colorings it's her winter pictures. You can see now snow globe painting, then you will see polar princess and snow queen. And when I do my winter pictures I always limit myself to mostly blue colors and now I can see how nicely she adds additional colors, even green and yellow and bright orange and how nicely they look if you add just a little bit of them to your winter paintings. And of course she used a lot of wonderful blue violet colors, which is my favorite color to do snow, so I definitely will try to use similar color palettes when I will need to color winter pictures in the future. 
Yes, coloring book by Josephine Wall is a little bit complicated and maybe is more suitable for advanced colorists, but if you like her designs, she has a lot of goods with her designs, from notebooks and playing cards to puzzles. I think that I, I would like to have a notebook with one of her designs, because they are so amazingly beautiful and you can spend long time just looking at her painting and trying to find all details hidden there.